So <coughs> today's video is we're going to focus on the difference between a temporary dimension line as well as a permanent dimension line, but also how you can manipulate uh, where those dimensions are being taken from and to. Okay, so if we start off, we have a pretty basic building layout. And if I select these, the options, these, these dimensions that you see here are temporary. Okay, and you'll notice as we click around the building, the dimensions pull off of different objects as far as what is in relationship to that object. Okay, it's going to be looking for primarily walls that are uh, within the vicinity, and then it will work its way down the, the hierarchy uh, as far as objects and doors and whatnot. But basically, as you see here, if we select this, we have some temporary dimensions. Okay, you'll notice here that. By default, all of our dimensions are going to center line of our walls. That's because we have the location line set up here as wall center line. Okay. But I can come over here and you see these squares along the extension or the witness lines. Okay. If you click those, you'll notice that it will bounce between three different parts of that wall. It'll either be at the exterior face, the midpoint or center line, or the interior face. Okay, so we can, by manipulating these, we can adjust where we want these to go. Okay. So once we have them set, as you can see, as soon as I click it, they go away. Alright. Uh, if we do it again, you're going to notice when you click it, whatever position you set these temporary dimensions at as you were going through your model, they're going to remember that based upon the object. So for this particular wall, these, dim these temporary dimensions are going to remain in the same location that we left them at. By clicking this little icon right here, it'll turn it from a temporary dimension to a permanent dimension. Okay, so now we have a permanent dimension here. Well, if we wanted to determine, we wanted to reposition this, we can click on the permanent dimension all right, and now you'll notice we have two boxes within each or along each witness or extension line. Okay, the first box or the box towards the end allows you to adjust that distance that that extension or witness line is from that the object or wall or whatnot. Okay, so you can reposition these if you don't want them sitting that close to the object, or you can just leave them as they were. All right. The next box we have up here is the same one that we were using before, where as I click it, it'll take me to different parts and pieces or different, pick up different areas along that, that area. Okay. Now, it's very important to keep in mind when you want to move an object, you simply cannot select this and change the dimension. You have to physically move an object. So if we want to move this wall to something besides 11 feet, we have to physically select the wall and now that temporary dimension, or that permanent dimension is now adjustable, where we can edit that distance. Um, whereas if we were going the other way, we were actually going to dimension our project or our model with an aligned dimension, we can simply come over here, and as you'll see, it will snap to the mid-center line of that wall. What we can do, though, is as you put your cursor towards the edges, so for example, if we wanted to dimension to the exterior face, you can put your cursor towards the edge, and you'll notice that that line shows up, or that purple line shows up. If you hit the tab button, it will actually cycle through different parts of that wall. So you can, when you're creating a dimension line, actually determine where that dimension line is going to go to while you're placing it. Okay, so in this particular case, you can see here we have we've added a dimension line, and it's set. Now, if you forget to dimension an object, for example, let's say you want to dimension this door, you can simply select the dimension line. You can say Edit Witness Lines, and what it will allow you to do is it will allow you to come in here, select the object or additional wall or whatever it may be. Okay, and like with doors, you can select the edge or you can select the center, and it will recalculate the remaining distances for that dimension. So <coughs> today's video.